Hi, I'm John Fraser with Players Travel Experts YouTube channel and welcome to this edition of 5 Minute Review where we're going to be taking you through the various cabin categories on the brand new Norwegian Prima. If you want to see a particular cabin, check out the description below. We'll be putting the starting time during the video of each cabin we've toured. Come join us. Okay, we're going to take you through an inside cabin. This is a category IA. This cabin can sleep two people. Start with our closet over here. Plenty of closet space. These drawers actually pull out, make it a little easier to get to. You can't see it, but behind here, there's another closet. Uh, it's behind the door where you could actually put suitcases, more hanging area. And then, of course, you have this side of the closet as well with a safe on drawers. Back this way, we have our restroom. Restroom is a little bit bigger here than on some of the other ships we've been on. Got your shower. Shower has the glass doors. And then we've got the beds. You can see the beds over here. Right now they're configured for Two people, they're separated. This is a connecting cabin. So there's a door. If mom and dad wanted to stay on the other side and keep the kids in one room, you could do that. You just you want to be connected to whomever you're traveling with. You can see the beds are up pretty high off the floor, so you can fit suitcases underneath there. Then you have your TV, more drawers. The ever popular mini fridge and then you've got your getting ready area a little desk over there and there is a blow dryer in this room there are plenty of power outlets in this room everything you need okay we're going to take you through a studio cabin these are for solo travelers the category is t1 uh, it could be a solo traveler or it could actually be people who travel together, but somebody wants their own room, their own space. Um, here's the, the bathroom. Very cool, I love the design on it. And you have your bed, you can tell it's a little bit smaller because uh, it is meant for just one person. It's smaller than, say, like an ocean view category. You've got your drawers over here. You've got a little desk, a hair dryer, few plugs in here and then you have your one closet okay we are going to take you through an ocean view um, this is a category OB Oscar Bravo and it's actually kind of nice it has a round porthole window where you can see ahead um, Norwegian and on Prima has tried to make these a little bit bigger so you can see the bathroom the bathroom has a little bit more space I think um, than a lot of the cruise ship bathrooms that I have been in and you can see the shower over here the shower is pretty nice and it's again a little bit bigger it has the glass doors again I like the glass doors versus the curtains just personal preference it's got plenty of space. There's a closet here. And I like that these little trays come out so you can put shoes or clothes in there. But it makes things a little bit easier to get to and you don't lose as much. There's actually a little, another closet over here you can put a suitcase in. It's blocked because the door's propped open. Um, so I'm not gonna open that up. Here's the other side of the closet. You have your safe down there. You also have uh, some more pull-out shelves. You've got your mini fridge here. They give you some waters, which is nice. Blow dryer. I get that question a lot, are there blow dryers? Um, a few power outlets in here. There's one over there. There's also one by the bed and you have USBs in the lamp. 
I'm not sure if this particular couch pulls out, but they do have cabins where if you want to put four people in them, the couch will pull out and your steward will make that into a bed. Of course, you have plenty of space underneath the bed where you can put and store suitcases. This particular room is configured with the bed pushed together. If you wanted the beds separated, uh, they would actually take one of these nightstands and they would put it in between the beds and then they would, would, they would move them apart. You've got your TV over here. And then of course you have your, your ocean view window. Okay, we're going to take you through a family balcony. This is a category B4, Bravo 4. Looks very similar to the other balconies. You've got closet space behind this door. You've got closet space here with the pull-out drawers. Looks pretty much the same on the other side, but you have your, your safe there. And then You've got your bathroom. Bathrooms on this ship are a little bit bigger, which is nice. Gives you a little extra space. The shower has the doors, the glass doors. Very nice. This couch actually folds out, so it would become the bed for where two people could, could sleep. Your steward will make that up at night. And then we've got our mini fridge over here hair dryer, we've got some electric ports over here, nice little sitting area, a desk. You can see here, like the other rooms, the beds have been raised on this ship, uh, so it's very easy to store luggage underneath. The lights have nice USB outlets in them. You've got your TV, again, just kind of a good view. And then this is a balcony room, so we've got our balcony out here. Balcony is big enough for two people. Like most cruise ships, a little bit small, but, but that's to be expected. Nice comfy chairs, little table. Of course you have your beautiful ocean view here. Okay, we're going to be taking you through a balcony cabin. This is a BA category. This is an accessible room. So you can see where you can roll right into a shower. The bathroom's a little bit bigger. Shower looks pretty much the same as the others other than that it has a curtain. And of course you can roll into it. You can see the room itself is a little bit bigger to allow for wheelchairs to get around or other mobility devices. You still have the high bed where you can store luggage underneath. You've got plenty of storage space here. More storage space. And of course we have our mini fridge. Little desk area here. And I believe behind this door is a closet. So you have a closet space over here. And then of course you have your balcony. With the balcony, it's really cool when you open the door, there's a little plate that will pop down so you can actually roll out and enjoy the balcony. There's the balcony, a couple chairs to sit. And of course a beautiful view out at sea. Okay, we're going to take you through a forward-facing club balcony suite. This is a category MB. Uh, very similar to the other balcony cabins that we've seen. Maybe a little bit bigger. You've got your closet here. Pull out drawers at the bottom. Behind, you can't really see behind the door, but they actually have robes in here. go here's the bathroom it's got a really nice shower with the glass doors it's 
So this particular cabin sleeps two people. So this couch would not pull out. So there's plenty of clearance under the bed for luggage. We have a champagne bottle over here. This is where your mini fridge is. Plenty of power outlets. The lights all have USB plugs in them. And I'm not gonna open up this door. We opened up a forward-facing balcony door and it blew everything all over on our last room tour. Um, but you can see out here, you've got a couple chairs and a table. And then you have this forward-facing view. Okay, so we are gonna take you through a forward-facing suite with master bedroom and large balcony. This is a category SK. You've got a nice bathroom here. A little bit larger. Now this room or this suite can sleep four people. So the first sitting area room that you see here, this couch would pull out and be made up into a bed. Have your mini fridge over here on the side. You've got your coffee maker, ice bucket, some drawers. And then a little sitting area with a blow dryer. There's a door right here that can be shut to separate this off. Another closet here with a safe. And then you have this room here with the TV. Try to get out here quickly because the wind, since we're at the front of the ship, is pretty strong. So I'm going to come out here quick. Okay. So here's the balcony. It's a larger balcony. Thanks for checking out this episode of 5 Minute Review. If we've inspired you to travel and you're not already working with a travel advisor, consider giving our team of experts an opportunity to help you plan your next great adventure. If you're enjoying our videos, give us a like below, or better yet, subscribe so you can stay up with all of the latest content. Until we see you again, travel and be well.